Yes, Keitha, and this teacher tells me that she was the only black English teacher for five years, and she felt that some of her colleagues didn't quite understand the importance of having black history, curriculum, and stories just in their classroom. But when she walked out of these doors with those two students yesterday, they were all determined to help change this. You have the two biggest, the foundation of education, teachers and students, and how we're both screaming that we're we feel like we're being marginalized. An activist for youth political engagement, Robert E. Lee High School senior class president, Deanna Burton, came to a meeting at the Duval County School Board with her mentor, Liltera Lewis. They want to know what will change in school curriculum to include black voices. I knew what it was like as a black student, not feeling included in what I'm reading. I'm an author and a writer myself and wanting to implement that passion in the classroom and not being able to from my own perspective, it just didn't feel like I was valued at all. Lewis says she was the only black English teacher at her school for five years. And I'm trying to advocate for students with colleagues who don't understand why it's necessary to change the curriculum. The district states they have an African-American task force created last year with the goal to ingrain black history into the curriculum. The district states they've worked to increase professional development opportunities, including a recent training at the Ritz Theater and a diversity seminar for teachers at Edward Waters College. According to a statement from Superintendent Dr. Diana Green, student leaders will talk with her later this month about this subject. Last year in the summer, we reported on this anti-bias teacher training that was put on by the Jacksonville Public Education Fund, a grant that they got. That was only for 48 teachers of the year, but teachers like Lewis believe that more training like that is needed. I'm Renata DiGregorio, live outside the DCPS office. First Coast News on your side.